Ordine, six goals. A safe passage through to the next round. You must be a very happy man right now. Very happy. I mean, it wasn't as safe as it probably uh, the scoreline suggested. I thought, you know, crew made a good game of it. They've got some bright young players here and uh, we had a great start with a, a good set-piece routine and uh, first goal for Esri Conzi. He doesn't score too many. He well, certainly didn't at Brentford, but we're after that centre-backs getting some goals and chipping in, so he's got one today, which is which is good. But I just felt our distances weren't great today and we allowed crew to get in between us, but... You know, I say out loud, they're good, they're good players as well and um, they, they proved they could get in between us and gave us some problems and, uh, you know, Jed Steers had to make a number of saves and they've, they've had a disallowed goal as well. But I thought we were very, very clinical and I, th I thought the quality shown with certainly our second goal, Keenan Davies, who I thought was great all night, uh, has come short and Henry's made a great... A uh, deep run from for one of our, our eights and uh, a reverse ball for Connor to make it 2-0. And, you know, after that, I thought we uh, we were very good and, you know, obviously uh, ran away with it with the, with the goals that we scored. Was that clinical nature the thing that pleased you most about the performance? Yeah, it was. And the resilience, you know, because it's, it's uh, 10 changes, only hotter uh, from from Friday night as, you know, kept his place in the team. That's because he didn't start the first two and he, he needed to get some minutes. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of players who haven't probably played, you know, uh, together since pre-season. But uh, everybody knew their jobs, everybody knew the roles and the responsibilities and their application tonight I thought was first class and, um, you know, deserved that result. You mentioned it there, it was a real team performance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was and that's what you need. Uh, in any game you go and play, it has to be a, a team performance, and we've got an awful lot of quality in the squad. We've got a, we've had a big change around in the summer, you know, and I pick a team that you know I believe is going to go and win in football games, and um, you know, lads who aren't playing, you know, uh, there'll always be an opportunity to go and show me what you can do, whether it's training or like tonight, and uh, you know, they've certainly been doing that. One of the Names in the starting eleven was Matty Target. He came off injured in the first half. What's the latest on him? Yeah, I mean he uh, he felt his hamstring. Um, we're hoping it's it's not as bad as uh, you know what what can be feared with a hamstring injury. He didn't actually do it when he was sprinting or crossing. He done it with, with a pass. So we've got we've whipped him off the pitch as quick as possible, and uh, you know we'll have the prognosis tomorrow. Job done on the pitch, off the pitch, backed again by nearly two and a half thousand away fans. A word on them this tonight. No, they were class again. Um, you know, wherever we seem to go now, they're sold out. And, uh, you know, I'm having a fight for tickets for my family myself at the moment. Um, but, yeah, they made their noise. Uh, and it's great to put on the performance and, and get, you know, uh, six goals for them. Back-to-back -back wins, that sets you up nicely for Saturday, Crystal Palace away. Yeah, it certainly does, and that was important tonight. Um, you know, we got into the winning habit last season, so it was tough to, to lose them first two games of the season. Uh, you know, so we've bounced back from that really well, but we need to continue it now. We've got a lot of, of players in that dressing room who work hard for each other and have got a winning mentality, so we want to keep that going now.